Ah, Broomball. An absolute staple of a Winter Blitz weekend. Culminating with a tournament fighting tooth and nail for the right to sign the Barely Cup. Stamping your team's name in history for the rest of time. But what is Broomball, and how do you even play? Now, some of you may have played Broomball before, but the rules here at camp are a bit different, so listen up. The goal of Broomball is to score more points than your opponent by the time the clock runs out. You score a goal by hitting the ball in the net. You know, in the net. Every player will have two pieces of equipment. The first is a helmet. You should never be on the ice unless you're wearing this. And the other is your broom. This is what you'll use to hit the ball. Teams will be comprised of up to seven players at most, with only one leader, but only five players on the ice at a time, and that's including your goalie. At the start of each game, there will be a face-off. Each team will send one player to the center of the ice, or court depending on the weather, and the referee will drop the ball between you. Once the ball hits the ground, the clock starts and the game begins. The games will be an eight minute running clock, and it won't stop unless an injury occurs or the referee deems it necessary. Use whatever strategy your team thinks is best to score a goal, but keep these rules in mind. When playing broomball, you may use your feet to stop the ball, but you can't use them to advance the ball in any way. Come on, this isn't soccer. The base of your broom should never go above your knee when hitting the ball. That's called high sticking. Repeated high sticking will result in first a warning from the ref and then a forced substitution. You're out. You'll have to switch out with another player on your team who is on the sideline. And if your team only has five players, then you'll have to play with one less player for whatever amount of time the ref deems necessary. So be very mindful of this. While on the topic of substitutions, how do you do one? Is it like other sports, where the clock stops for you while you run out and high-five the teammate you're subbing in for in a beautiful moment of camaraderie and sportsmanship? No. This is Broomball, a fast-paced, chaotic game where time is of the essence. Substitutions are on the fly. You can sub at any time of the game, whenever you decide, but the player on the ice must step off before the new player steps on. Moving on, let's talk about goalies. Whatever player you decide is your goalie will be stationed right in front of the net. Their mission is to stop goals from being made. They can use their brooms, their feet, or even their bodies, but they must stay on their feet at all times. Now, you may be thinking, but the ice is slippery, or what if I fall? And to that, I say, uh, duh, that's just the nature of the game. So you better figure out how to stay on your feet. If you dive to save the ball or inadvertently knock the goal out of the way, the ref may determine that to be a goal for the other team. So stay on your feet. If the clock runs out and the game ends in a tie, it will go to a goalie versus goalie faceoff. Each team will send whatever goalie started the game for them for a one-on-one -on -one showdown. If your goalie is a leader, then you'll send whoever the youngest player on your team is. Each goalie will start with their hand on their goal and the ball will be placed centered between them. The ref will blow the whistle to start and the first goalie to score wins the game for their team. Now, that's great and all, but you may be wondering, how do I sign my team's name on the Barely Cup? And for that, it's simple, win the tournament. The tournament will start out with round robin pools. No, not that one. Each team will play every other team in their pool or group, and the top teams will be put into a four-man bracket. So if you lose your first game, don't give up yet, because you can still fight your way to the top of your pool. If your team is able to fight their way through the bracket and win the championship, they'll get to sign their name on the coveted Barely Cup. The rules for the bracket games will be slightly different. Instead of half court, there'll be full court games. And instead of eight minutes, it'll be 10. If there's a tie, it will lead to a five minute sudden death over time. And if there's still no winner, then they will be decided in a goalie shootout. A couple last things. While broomball is a physical sport, any excessive force will result in disqualification from the game. And if the ref deems it necessary, the entire tournament. Excessive force includes, but is not limited to, pushing, tripping, or fighting in any way. Ready? Same thing applies to foul language or arguing with the referees. Many decisions are subjective and left up to a judgment call by the referee, and any decision the referee makes is final. Respect the referee and don't argue any calls. And with that, you know everything you need to know about how to play broomball. Remember that at the end of the day, it's just a game, so be respectful of other players, and don't be a sore loser or a sore winner. Nobody likes either of those. Oh wait, I forgot the most important rule of all, have fun. Whether that's trying your hardest and winning the championship, or giving it your all and losing in pools. Make sure you have a fun time with it. Good luck to everyone, and may the best team win.